been. Have we been live? No, we just uh, oh on <laughs> on his. <laughs> Hi everybody. This is Build Across Painting Live today. Um it is Thursday and it's really busy around the shop. Everybody's getting ready to head out to malls to kettle corn and to uh, go to getting ready to go to Canton. There's just a lot going on on Thursdays. So you're gonna hear a lot of noise and I'm kinda just sitting here alone. But I was gonna paint this back to school shape. Uh, I already had Alice paint the apple yesterday um, for because one of our biggest sellers in Arbor 2 is back to school or school themed uh, door hangers. A lot of people buy them for teacher gifts, for uh, for end of the year gifts. It's just it's a big seller. So we don't have any of these there. So I thought I would do this one. But when I got to looking at it, I didn't really like this shape. Am I on the little camera, Billy? I didn't really like this shape because to me it doesn't give you the bookends and it's not like purport I don't know it doesn't really have the lines that I wanted so I'm going to show you how I take this shape and make it into something a little bit different than what meets the eye so I have sketched my books coming at an angle um, right here and I've drawn some little lines to show how I did that of course you're gonna go straight across here you can leave that line but if you draw from this end coming down at a little uh, maybe 30 degree angle and then you put the curve for the book spine you can bring the end of the book to it and this will be your uh, your page area right here and then this will be the spine of your book and it would do it has this small triangle area that would be like the top of the book where the other book sits on it and you do the same thing up here and you have this little triangle area for the base of the apple so it's not just flat line flat line so i'm going to paint that for you just to give you a little bit of a uh, option to do something different with the shape you don't always have to take the shape for what you see for what people say it is you can make it into your own shape i'm going to do the bottom book in this uh, green i'm going to use evergreen on the spine and i'm going to use limeade as my highlight area so there's the spine of the book Today. Well, I just got done explaining it to everybody. Oh, man, I need this. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm taking this uh, back to school teacher shape with the books and I'm changing up the way it's painted a little bit so that people can see that they, they can use other uh, techniques. They don't have to go with what the shape is supposed to look okay. like per se. Artistic so, freedom? Yes. I'm using some limeade now to create the spine of the book. Now, remember how I've talked about brush strokes so much. You would have your curved or your curved book in here uh, just to show, like make it look three dimensional. So of course, I'm gonna come up from the edges with dark into the light that creates that shadowed look that, so, and then you can come down with the dark into the light. Oh, that's the word. Down into the light. <laughs> Trying to figure out what I smell. Is, it that, is somebody cooking something? Uh, I got some chicken in the oven. Oh, uh, of course. Let's come back with the white here. I made chicken last night. One of my Hello Fresh meals. Yeah, how was it? It was really good. So what's that Ryan Yeo meal? seven bucks yeah around about i get meals for two so that because they don't do meals for one yeah but if you get the meal for two then you can have another day to eat it yeah everybody wants to know the day yeah i would probably just eat it all at once. Yeah. last night it was uh like a lemon zest 
Italian chicken with a creamy pasta. Mm, sounds good. Yeah, the pasta was like it had zucchini in it that I pan fried and or browned in the in the pan. Mm -hmm. And the sauce was just like a beef stock with some sour cream and some salt and pepper and lemon juice and lemon zest and garlic. Okay, I'm really trying to blend this here. So that when it dries, it has a good look. I'm going to get my green a little bit wet. And I'm just going to follow it all the way from top to bottom so that there's no like short strokes in there. And of course, we're painting the bottom one first because it's on bottom and it's underneath everything. Okay, now I'm going to use my green to go all the way out to the bookend here. Never done this style, but worth a try. Once you add your outlines, it'll really pop out too. Okay, so this bookend, I'm going to come all the way down here at an angle. People are going to see what you're trying to do. Any questions, BJ? I don't know. I'm going to go see. Okay. Rosie asked what days do we go live? We try to do it every, every day. day. Every day. Monday through Friday. Every now and then we miss some. They didn't go yesterday. Yeah. Sorry about that. It was really busy in the office. Okay, I'm going to move up from the green book to a blue book. I will use some Yankee blue. I'll use a little bit of gold to highlight it. All right. Good morning. Even though the books are at an angle, you'll still go straight across this top line here. In fact, I'll go ahead and do the book spine too. So you can measure that out. I'm going to add gold flue into the middle. Create my round. Pamela said, did you see the pictures of her guitar? No. How many times? Has Billy done that and not found the pictures for me? Because she's been telling us that she did it. Where'd you put them, Pamela? Where'd you put them? Lonnie said she loves the cutouts. She said uh, she did some designs for the kids last year. Uh -huh. Teachers' names on them. Okay, and that's gave nice. Them they loved them. Okay, so I'm doing my rounded look here so she sent it to the email oh i bet but really, i don't, really I don't get the emails he probably hasn't or it could be in casey's email because yeah, yeah. and she's on vacation okay did you get an email in casey's support that had a picture of a guitar cut out Oh, Tara's on. Sometime this week. Okay. So, again, dark on the base. Pull up into the light. Just gives the illusion of a shadow. Rosie yes, asked we do custom wood cutout signs. Yeah. We cut custom words and stuff. Pam's asking about a volleyball cutout. Yes, we do have a volleyball cutout. Also, you can just take a volleyball, take a circle and draw the volleyball shape on it. But we do have a paint by line volleyball. There's something. Okay, let me think what I'm trying to do here. 
trying to give it a little bit of a edge here. Again, the first time I'm trying this shape this way. So I'm learning with you. You can just keep painting over something until you get it where you want it, you know. Okay, now I'm going to do the pages a white color, but I'm going to use like some putty in there to create the shading in the page lines. All right, let me find a good brush. Why are you? Why are you? You just cut your phone case. Who is she talking to? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you cut your phone case. Yeah, I did. So she can sit in it. All right. So you paint the white. And then I'm going to come back with a little bit of putty and create some shading around the edges where the book hangs over. So it would be around the inside edge and under the top lip here. Just a little bit and under the bottom lip here. And then I'm going to come back with the white. Now, because it is a book and the pages are all in this area stacked on top of each other, there are tiny little shadows and stuff. So I'm kind of creating a streaky environment here. And then I'm probably going to use my palette knife. And my my white paint is getting really low, so I can't dip it in there. But I'm going to just give myself some pages by doing this. Be sure to stay in the right direction here. Create the illusion of pages. All right, looks good to me. The white part I got right there. Now I'm going to do the white part on this one. A little bit of a shading. So be sure that you like and comment and share today. We're going to give away one of these shapes, unfinished. Do my, do my little thingy thing here. All right, now I'm gonna let that dry for a second. I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna hit my apple and my leaf. I used bar or I had Alice use barn red on the apple yesterday. Today I'm gonna mix in some uh, honky tonk just to give it a little bit of a shape. 
give it some highlights and lowlights. I'm going to give the bottom a little rounded area here now that I have it sitting on top of the book. Everybody's loving it, Sarah. Are they? Good. I always hope I teach y'all something when I do these. So again, using brush strokes to create dimension. Before it was just a flat apple shape. Now I'm taking the brush strokes and doing this like following the curves of an apple. As it, uh, picture yourself wiping an apple off with your brush. And so what what would be the contour that you follow? And if you paint in those shapes and those directions, you're going to give your apple three dimensions and really bring it to life. Making the lighter parts on the more rounded places where it pops out. Picture if you had an apple and you had to circle the areas where the sun's going to hit it first. It's going to hit it first in the big curves. So do lighter areas on there. Do darker areas down below where it's farthest away from the sun. Trying to convey that to you. So that just really kind of, I just really just swiped some honky tonk and some white through there and it just made the apple pop. Pop. All right. Did you read all these questions? We have been. Okay, so quickly just made that apple look delicious. I'm going to use this putty on the stem up here. 3D apple, did you see that one already too? That would be a little stand-up apple for a desktop. Yes. I think she painted it 3D. I'm in my purse or in my vehicle. Like, see, I did the book. Yeah, but we can do a stand-up one. Yeah. Let me, does anybody see pine cones? Oh, they seem on pine trees occasionally. You see it? No, that might be pretty. Oh. Tara, what's going on today with Build Across? Don't we have a 40% off sale? What? Don't we have a 40% off sale? <laughs> no. We have 85 codes that went out. Oh, oh, close. If you order, um, starting next week, you'll get a thank you coupon in your package. Oh, okay. One time use, that is a good Oh, okay. So, again, using brush strokes to convey depth. A brush stroke can seriously change the whole demeanor, dimension, <clears throat> all of that. I know I speak. I speak in parables. <laughs> Most of the great do. Right? I just make words up. <laughs> Change the whole demeanor. That's not even... No, it doesn't. But, I, but it made sense when I said it, didn't it? You knew what I was trying to say. What are you saying? I, I said a brush stroke can change the whole demeanor of your project. And it's the whole attitude. Yeah. I mean, I just made that apple's attitude is getting better by yes, the second. Yeah, better by the second. A brush stroke can make you happy. Sassy apple. Yes. It goes from flat to thick. Thick. Flat to fat. P flat H -H -E. to fat. Okay. So here's my shape. I'm going to dry it a little bit. I'm going to add my. Uh, my marker, my marker. So I took this flat apple shape and I created dimension and I made it three, three D. It's coming out at you now. It's not uh, just flat, misshapen anymore. <laughs> Do a little drying. I only got to do three more. I brought an X factor in so much. I haven't looked at them yet. What's that? It's that other one I ordered. I've been doing Did it. Did you have to cook it? No, it's just a, a <clears throat> it's ready made. I have to just open it and heat it up. All right. 
So I'm going to do the outside of the apple and everything with this white marker just to make it pop, trying to avoid the wet paint. Um, I've been doing meals. I got two palettes. I've been doing meal kits. I'm not going to outline right there because I'm going to show you what I'm going to do there in a minute. I've been doing HelloFresh. And then for lunch, I'm doing these Factor meals. I keep saying X Factor, but I think that's a game show. It is. I was always wondering. I was like, man. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to use my thin, thin marker here to hit the base of this and the base of this and around the outside. I will come through the middle of the leaf when it's dry, but it's not dry. I'll come right here to give my stem a top, and I'll come on the bottom here. I'm painting so fast for y'all today. Are y'all proud of me? I am, Sarah. Okay. I would watch you all day. Whatever. Real talk. Okay, so given the spine of the book, an outline here, a little ridge. Now, right here, instead of drawing straight right here, because pages aren't straight, I'm just going to do like a little squiggly line. And a couple little dabs. Okay, do the little squiggly line here. Um, couple streaks. Turn this over. I'm going to lightly show that the spine of my book comes down right here. And the bottom of this book comes right here. Now, I don't know. I really like that. Yeah, so good. I think I would take just one more. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Bye. No, that's not I'm going to take this right here. I'm going to accent the edge a little bit. Y'all got your winners picked? Uh, yeah. All right. That's it. Whew. That's it. Love it. Oh. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. Uh, on Facebook, Bobby Drennan. Bobby, email us at support at build a cross.com and we'll ship you this shape unfinished to your house. Or wherever. Or wherever <laughs> you get your mail. Thanks so much, guys. Carl, it'll be back tomorrow.